Hello, Fearless Fam. This is your host, Chuby, and welcome to the show. Another episode, and here we are. Um, today's elephant is a level one, and it is also one of my favorite topics to talk about. And you guys already know, it's music. Um, if you saw our post, we do have a guest today, and I'm very, very excited for you guys to... Um, get to know them and it's the marina city band away from chicago an alternative indie band i had the pleasure of doing an interview with them four years ago the good old twitter introduced me to their music and i was hooked on them and then i decided to reach out to them for an interview and they agreed and i was very happy about that um it was done through email back then and I had a blog, which I still do. I don't post as much, but um, I had a blog and I just posted it there. I stayed listening to their music and here we are four years later. I was following their journey and let me tell you, a lot has changed for them. I mean, I hope you all checked out their music when I posted it. And if not, go check it out right now as we speak right here, right now. So. Yeah, so how this came about, I had posted a throwback on this interview that we originally did on Instagram. And one of the band members says, hey, we should do an in update interview. And here we are. This is where we are now. Fast forward to 2022 on March, you know. And this is the only time I truly appreciate social media because it can connect you to some awesome people out there. Um and yeah and therefore i love supporting all local artists in any way i could possibly support them because music changes lives music saves lives music is the most incredible thing created in this world and this band creates amazing music that touches your soul it touches who you are and i can't relate to other music um but before we get on this up to this amazing interview, I just want to share that Better Weather, and if you haven't listened to it, you should. It's still one of my favorite songs from band. I feel like it highlights Ryan's vocals, like his amazing vocals. Ryan is the lead singer of the um, band. But to no further ado, here's the interview I have with the band. It's Hi. nice to have you all here. Oh, hello. Hello, Hi. hello, how you doing? What's up, dude? Uh, hey, hey, thank you so much for you guys like giving me the opportunity to have this interview, you know, Absolutely. with you all. Thank you for fun? thank you for having us. It's just, just it's just gonna be us two today. Uh, you're gonna get the uh, the the good half of MC. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's that's good <laughs> enough uh, for me. Um, yeah. but yes, welcome. Um, so I know you have a, a a night tonight. I know you're waiting to see your idol thing going on. So <laughs> we'll keep it short, nice, and sweet to the point. Uh -huh. So we can start yeah. whenever we're ready, okay? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, yeah. so um, the last time we did this was, what, four years ago? And it was through um, email. Okay. <laughs> so oh. now, now oh. it's uh, updated. Now we're here. That's a long time. Know? Yeah, well, oh, you yeah. know what? I like the look of this. I like this. This is good, yeah. this is good right here. Yes, person. yes. Me too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that that feels like ages ago. So um, here we are. So I know through the years you guys have been through a lot. The band has, you know, changed, as I noticed, from <laughs> six members to four. You know, you you want to share to share a little bit on that aspect, or you want to? No, yeah, we we absolutely can talk about it. I mean, look, yeah. I think it's it, I think it's always good to just. You know, uh, with the whole band member change thing, you know, I think it's just part it's just part of the Marina City journey. You know, we never quit. We never give up. It doesn't matter who's in the band. Um, we're going going ahead. You know, uh, we love those guys to death. You know, Brian and Aaron, we still talk to them. Uh, they had a huge portion of Marina City's history from the foundation to um, I mean, I, I believe Ryan or I'm sorry, I believe Aaron, our old bassist, he still he has some bass lines on the new record um so he's still somewhat with us uh but yeah we, we move forward with the four of us from here on and um it is different the dynamic is different the chemistry is different 
um but i'll tell you what we've never felt stronger we've never fe we've never felt better and uh we're extremely excited for the future of marina city as a foursome oh no i've been listening to you guys since the good old twitter introduced me to the music so i was like oh you guys had like a flair and you know i i like the music r right off the bat so i became a fan automatically and you know joining the mailing list and all that good stuff that you guys you yeah. know so um but yeah obviously it came to a shock to me because obviously we can't expect a band to stay the same right you know you're always gonna be better i, I was so shocked you know you always have that shocked factor of it like oh wow uh, what happened you know and behind the scenes you always wonder welcome yeah. back no oh, yeah right. it's, it's it's all good between us you know um they all moved on for personal reasons more so life reasons um there wasn't any turmoil between us there wasn't anything dramatic uh, we all, we all, we were still best friends. We still love each other. Um, it was just kind of the way the cards had fallen, the way the dominoes had fallen. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I would just add, since I got apparently kicked off, I'm right back on. Uh, this is exactly, I just got kicked off just like this. Uh, no, I'm just, just to add to what Toto was saying, um, I mean, Aaron was standing in my wedding just like the other guys, and Brian was at my wedding. We all took photos together. We love each other. Brian was actually just at my house last week while we were watching uh, American Idol together. So uh, it's really cool to be able to still have the friendship that we have even after the band, because I think this friendship goes past just Marina City. So I love that. Right. I mean, that's that's a beauty about it, that you do create friendships. And, you know, and hey, sometimes if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, well, it wasn't meant to be, right? Exactly. Right. right. So I heard your Crush podcast. You know, I, I heard it, listened to it, laughed along with you guys, you know. So how do you how do you think that you guys bringing the Crush podcast to to your fans? How do you do you think that build up to your like to your to your audience? How do you think they perceive that? How do they receive your your um your podcast? Because you guys talked about a bunch of things, including yeah. your Kickstarter yeah. and all that other stuff absolutely i mean i think we're gonna we're gonna bring back that podcast but in different ways because we got this new record coming out and we keep teasing that it's an interactive and immersive record so there's so many things that we want to kind of talk about and i think that's going to be a great way to be able to um connect all the dots that people will find and be able to be a little bit more interactive through the podcast so we're really excited about that but before that the podcast as it is or as you can hear it right now i think it's just a perfect way for you to know who marina city is i mean we're four best friends so the ability to um, talk to each other especially during quarantine uh, right. was great for our mental health i'll tell you that what do you think Toter? i think so i think the podcast i mean it's just it's just another way of people to know who we are you know it's just another way for people to find us um if you've never been to a marina city show if you've never seen our faces if you've only seen us through the internet you know you can go ahead and check out our personalities through the, uh through podcasts and stuff like that and we do act a fool sometimes, so you will definitely see some personalities being flared up. Um, and I'm excited to get back to it because we haven't done it in quite some time. It's been, yeah. oof, it's been months. It's been a long time, yeah. a lot of months. Yeah. yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, I did. Uh, I learned that I said Matt, he draws. I didn't know yeah, that. Mm -hmm. um, are you the Great. one that does the wood sculpting thingy? Yep. Yep. Yeah. That, right. Yep. <laughs> see, there you go. The useful information <laughs> right so i learned a couple of things from you guys you know it does it does make you feel like you're right there with you guys like enjoying the moment and you know having breakfast together that was another episode that i was like yeah. oh it's super cool you know thank you for sharing that you know yeah. <laughs> so it does make you feel like um your your fan base or your audience is like part of your life so i, I enjoy that part of the podcast so love to hear that no that that's actually super great you say that because that's been one thing we were like is this cool or not we weren't really too sure either but yeah. it was just a way for us because we weren't able to rehearse a lot mm -hmm. because of, it was just like the height of the pandemic so we were like well at least we could just talk to each other and just hang out um i mean a lot of that is very is really not edited so I, i'm gonna be honest with you i haven't even heard them since we made them yeah, so i'm sure yeah. there's things in there i'm like oh i can't believe we said Should've that this out. <laughs> there's even moments in the podcast where like well we should probably definitely edit that but i don't remember doing that all the time so i guess we'll yeah. see <laughs> but it was a lot of fun 
<laughs> there was a lot of laughter when I like I stopped listening to it for a while, to be honest with you, and then I got back to finishing the rest. No editing. It seemed like yeah. there was no editing, <laughs> but that's the beauty of things. You are being honest yourselves, yeah. and you're not trying to put a facade for anything. You know, you're just being yourselves, and that's what we could expect from musicians. You know, just be you, right? I mean, exactly. It's the most important thing. Be you. That's right. It. Exactly. So, um, the Kickstarter. So, how is that going? How did that go? How? What's going on with that? Because I don't remember any update on that. Uh, well, I have to talk about it. I mean, we we finished it back in May, uh, and we're successfully able to do it. Uh, we were able to raise over thirty seven thousand dollars, thirty seven thousand three hundred thirty three dollars, I believe, to be exact. Um, and it is now we were able to just send out a bunch of packages to people. So people who did uh, raise the money with us should be getting their physical packages at this point. And then the fun stuff is coming very very soon. We're we're waiting for that to hit more this summer. Uh, I've been doing a lot of solo stuff right now, so I'm trying to wrap that up and then we'll just go full steam ahead with all this new uh, Marina City world and era that I think is going to be something really unique um, and just a lot of fun for all of us, it, us involved. <clears throat> oh, I'm excited to hear. I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the yeah. Kickstarter, yeah, I mean, it, it was it was probably the busiest month of my life. I will, hands down, the busiest month of my life. Every day we, we were hustling. Um, and it was quite the grind, but um, it, was, it was worth it. And I think uh, I think what was cool about it is that we found a unique way to get our fan base involved um, at the same time supporting a great cause, you know. Um, so we, we found a bunch of different ways to get everybody involved, whether it was drum lessons, you know, uh, pyrography, you know, burning wood, <laughs> whatever, you know, drawing. We, we had a hangout day with our fans one day. So... I mean, the list goes on and on. So I thought it was really cool how creative we got and um, the fans seemed to, seem to enjoy it. But I'll tell you what, Ryan, I don't know about you, but I don't think I could ever do that again, bro. <laughs> I uh, I definitely 1000% will never do a Kickstarter again. But that's not because <laughs> I, I think it was awesome. We had some yeah. people, great people working with us on yeah. it. Uh, but it's one of the most stressful things in the world. Yeah. And everyone who probably saw us do the Kickstarter were like, there's no way they're ever going to raise mm -hmm. 35590 bucks they do. But we did, and we did it over that. And it was absolutely incredible. And it's a moment that I can always relish in and, and, and have uh, like a, you know, a plaque to myself to be like, we did that. But that's good. I'm good. We did it. I'm out. That's <laughs> like, uh, you know, so... But, but back to what Toto said, the, the coolest moment about the Kickstarter was the ability to connect with our fans more and in, in like on a, on a personal level that, uh, you know, Marina City is not just about the music that we play, but about the four members that are here. And it, it was really cool that after we had just lost the members in the band and we were going through a different era of music, that all these people were just like, yo, I still want to, I still love this band. I want to support this band. I want to be part of this band. So it was a great feeling. Right. No, I, I like that aspect that you guys want to interact with your fans. Some some bands, obviously, not every band band's going to be the same, but some bands don't care who's supporting them or what they can do for the for the for their fan base. They just care about, well, we're just going to release music and then, you know, that's it. So I think that was uh, personally I started watching the kids started like um your your from the beginning how it was going and I was like oh my god you know and then I stopped and then I went back and I was like they actually did make it so I'm very uh, happy that you actually were able to do it because that sounds fun and apparently exhausting <laughs> I, feel, I, I feel that was most the reaction of everybody I feel yeah. like they when they initially saw it they're like what the f you know they're like do you guys see the type of money they're trying to raise and then once we got to I don't know it was like day 26 or was it I'm not really sure was it day 20 something like that mid 20s almost done we started getting close everybody started you know seeing online what was going on because we'd be in everybody's face with all the information right. um i'm extremely honest with it you know so um everybody started believing and yeah it kind of snowballed at the end there pretty nicely that's what matters you, you know a testament to our fan base that you know we're we're not the biggest band in the world but the things that we've been able to do because of our fan base is incredible. I mean, the Kickstarter, having songs on radio, being able to have songs in TV shows and play on TV and stuff like that. It's it's all because of the fans. Uh, we, we've been talking about, we've never been signed. So, you know, the fans of our record label, for most of our career, we weren't, we didn't even have a management. 
So it was all in and out of management. So they helped us there, booking agents, stuff like that. Uh, we've been able to do a lot of this because of the fan base and the people around us. So it's really cool to see the community come up with Marina City. Exactly. No, I mean, hey, you have a fan here. So I try to share your music as much as possible, you know, and just let everybody know. Hello, you, you guys are actually <laughs> good. So <laughs> why not share, you know? So yeah, I'm glad that you guys are here with us today. So I was looking that you um, that you guys did a submission for the Tiny Desk Contest. Are you yeah. able to talk about it? Did it go through? How did that yeah. go? <laughs> well, it did. the submission definitely got through. Uh, we haven't heard anything back from Tiny mm. Desk yet about it, uh, but it, that was a really cool uh, and spur of the moment idea. We thought about it last practice, like, what if we did this? Like, how do we do this? And we were going to like record it that day. And then we realized that we don't have anything that we need finally came back the following week and the fact that we were able to make that happen i think is just one of those like this is why we're musicians this is why we do what we do you know it's those moments like obviously it's it's connecting with fans but also just trying new things and seeing if it, it can happen and the fact that we were able to get everything in a, in a van and be able to perform our regular set that was that was really cool and we, we actually recorded a bunch of songs and then you'll see some more videos of that for sure very excited to hear that so how, how did you feel about recording a little tiny desk? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was it was great. It was fun. Um, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a video out there of another band probably doing it. So I don't know how original the idea was, right. but it was original to us, and it was we've never done that before, you know. Uh, um, so now that we have four members in the band instead of six, we can do things like this. You see, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I thought it was a lot of fun. You know, um, we just played super raw, exactly like this interview, exactly like the podcast. It was just extremely raw. Um, so we had a lot of fun and I'm glad that we, uh, we were able to pull it off. So hopefully that we can, we can do good. So hopefully somebody likes us at the tiny desks and chooses our submission. <laughs> we wow. were, if you, if you watch the end of that video, you'll see all of our eyes starting to like look all over the place because our delivery driver for our food, and we're a big food band. We, we love food. So we're starving at this point because we've been recording for like a few hours and we see him and everyone's like looking at him and he comes up to the door and we he comes up to the door to where we were at parked outside in front of and i run up and like hey hey oh, that does and he's like i heard you guys rocking and rolling in there what are you guys doing i was like uh recording a video and he's like what kind of video would you guys be recording that that's live but it was really cool uh but now every time i watch that video and seeing all of our eyes shift is fun Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know the backstory to it. So it's like, <laughs> okay, we know. As I promised you, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because, you know, I'm rooting for you. You know, I know hopefully your episode comes out. So, um, so is Undone your latest song or am I missing one? I, uh, Undone was our last official Marina City release. Right. We did release, um, we did release a song, Love and War, that may have came out afterwards. Mm. Uh, but that was, we were featured on that song oh, with our okay. good friend Cho. He's a, um, actually he goes by Pete Cho now, uh, but he is a great EDM producer. Um, now outside of LA, he was from Chicago at the time. And he asked us to come on to his like blues rock song that we did with him. That was, that was really cool to be able to cross those worlds together. And it was the first time we've ever been picked up by Spotify to do like an official playlist so that was a cool thing that we could uh get off our bucket list but that was our last that was that was in may of 2021 too so that was the last release from uh, marina city uh but don't you worry there's a lot more coming and i'm so excited about the next just making sure because i was like <laughs> wait i haven't heard from anything in a while but i just wanted to make sure i'm keeping up you know but i love the song by the way i have it on repeat and i couldn't stop listening to it so thank you yeah we, we just got a chance to really start a playing that live relatively recently and the response to undone is what i'm talking about undone yeah. the response to it has been really cool it's it's really nice when we release new music and people obviously like it but it's another thing that when we release new music and it starts becoming something that fans are like yo that's gotta be in your set that's like i don't know i i can only speak for myself but i always feel like we when we finish writing a song i'm just like can we ever top that song is there another song? That, do we have another one in there? Because I feel like, oh man, that was better than the last one, but I don't know if we can do that again. And somehow we've been really fortunate that we've been able to do that. And that's what makes me so happy to be in this band all the time. 
Yeah, and in addition, if because I love I love Undone, it's one of my favorite songs of ours. Um, is that weird to say? I, I think that might be weird to say. <laughs> your but, child, yeah. <laughs> your child. But um, yeah. Um, there's actually an acoustic version on YouTube, which is a little bit slower. It's a little bit different. It's uh, it's a little bit more vibey, yeah. and um, you should definitely check that out. I think I think you dig it. And to anybody else who's listening to this podcast, yep, I, I I'm done. Yeah. Um. I thought Better Weather was going to be my ultimate favorite. Yes, I'm still stuck on that song. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, cool. I don't know why I like it. I'm stuck on that one. But then Undone came out. I'm like, nope, this one is. <laughs> you, know, you know, honestly, it's just really cool that a song like Better Weather is five years old, six years old, something like that. And that, you know, yeah. still people really enjoy that song. That's another one that has to be in the set. Uh, and I feel like it's it aged well and so i'm just really happy that people still listen to that to this day so it's really cool to, to hear that thank you yeah thank you that, that 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 means a lot i mean that's one of two songs that we still play live yeah um pretty much the old, of, the old of, the, of the old stuff yeah of the old stuff that's because yeah. we re retired most of that music i'm very it's very unfortunate for me that i haven't seen you guys i've been to chicago but i haven't been to any of your concerts i am gonna admit that I haven't been seeing you guys live, but I'm still going to listen to you guys no matter what. So that's what matters, right? Where Where are you based out? Okay. I'm sorry? Where are you based out of right now? Right now I'm in Florida. Florida. Okay. Yeah. Right, so we gotta make, we, you know, we've actually never played in Florida before, so we have to make it down there so we can see now you. We got a reason to go. Now, yeah. now, we, have, now we we have a few <laughs> we have a few fans that have been like, yo, come out to Florida. And it just hasn't, it, like, because... We haven't been able to just get out there yet. So okay, we got yeah. new management. We got a whole new team this last month. So we're gonna let them know right after this. I'm like, yo, we gotta go to Florida. Where in Florida are you? South Fish of Florida. Okay, South Florida. Yeah. South Florida you have to get yeah. To. All right, no. you got it. You're in it. Hey, I will tell everybody. Be like, Bring listen. Bring the to you. Let's do it. <laughs> and next time, whenever you guys play, I'll try to make it out there. Just, you know, we need a lineup. Whenever you guys are ready to, you know, do more live shows, because oh, I know. Yeah. COVID has messed up that for everybody, but so are we able to talk about your American Idol ish thing yet? Yeah, or go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So I, I do have a question because you know, as a fan and you know, just you know, you guys are a band. So did you guys decide to do it alone? Like Ryan, you're like, oh, I'm gonna just pursue this alone, or did the band say, Oh, I'm not interested, or how did that come about? You know, uh I wasn't actually thinking of doing American Idol in general. I was, that wasn't something that, honestly, I thought I was too old at this point. And it was, I've been doing stuff with Marina City, so it didn't even cross my mind. I got reached out to by them and they were like, hey, I think it'd be really great if you did it. And so I was like, all right, well, I mean, if they're asking for it, you know, I'll give it a shot. I actually was trying to get Toter to come with me to play guitar in uh, Austin, Texas. And he was, he was gonna come out. And before I even went out, I talked to all the guys I was like, hey, this is an opportunity that came up. I don't know what's going to happen with it. We got this new record that's happening and we can use this as a great way to promote the record. So let's get some hype from it. And then right when this is all done, we'll start releasing the record and start releasing singles. And we're just like, yeah, that'd be really cool. I try to get Toto to go out there. But at the time they wouldn't allow, uh, it was just like, it was COVID restrictions. But at first they're like, go out. So I was like, yes. And then it was just weird COVID stuff because it started getting harder and harder out there. But with that being said, I mean, What's been really cool is that like we've seen a lot of Spotify numbers jump and we've been able to see our social media jump and just been really cool to be able to take some of this um, excitement of American Idol and what I've been doing and bring it into Marina City and just get that hype going there. Yeah, no, we we full as as the band, we fully support Ryan. You know, we're super we're super happy for him. We're excited. We see him on TV and we're like, oh, there's Ryan. There's Ryan. There's our boy. There's our baby boy. There's our baby boy Ryan. But uh, no, yeah. I mean, um, we're just super excited for Ryan to have this opportunity. And I was excited to play guitar, but it didn't happen. But that's okay. And I, that that would have been cool too. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, all they didn't even end up. They didn't even end up showing my audition anyway. So, but you know, maybe they would have if I was able to bring Toto down. Uh, ah, but man, see. There you go. Hey, for next time. <laughs> but well, actually, there is a next time. Uh, we're going to be announcing. I'm going to be announcing very soon. I mean, I, I guess I could announce it here on April 15th. I'll be doing a live.
performance of The Man Who Has Everything on WGN News Daytime. Uh, they're going to be doing an interview on me and also performing. And Marina City will be performing the song with me uh, for The Man Who Has Everything. So I'm really excited uh, to be able to do that and, and, and be comfortable with the boys boys from the hood, the the group, the, the groomsmen. So I'm excited. Very excited. I like the song, by the way, when I heard it. I was like nice because i obviously <laughs> hearing you with the band and the alone it's like two different dynamics yeah. so it brought a different aspect to the whole vibe of like who you are like how you're feeling or you know the different whole ryan is so i yeah. enjoy that as well so sure. that's a lot of things been going on like i said again at the beginning of the podcast there's just so much going on but i'm very excited for you guys for your um album to drop as well when is that happening when is what what's happening yeah. here so uh not to get too in the weeds because i don't want to under promise and right. i don't want to over promise that's what i don't want to do um we're we're looking to start in june start releasing things for it and we have a bunch of singles that we're going to release from it it's our longest ep since in the wake of dreaming of 2012 so if you guys have been no g and you're listening to this then this is the longest ep since then but there's so much depth to it. Longest in terms of song tracks. Right. Song tracks, yeah. yeah. Well, and it's probably, on, yeah, I mean, as far as the, the how long the, the EP is, too, it could potentially be right. long, too. But it's probably, yeah, probably. It's, it's just packed with, I think, a lot of personality from us. And I just think that it's a, for me, the perfect record for where Marina City is right now, where we've been treading. Um, and also just where the world is right now. I think it, I think this record is not going to be pretentious and say this is the record that the world needs kind of thing. I just think that it's the artist's job to reflect the world that they live in. And I would like to believe that we did a great job in trying to do that. Well, I'm very excited to hear that. And trust me, I totally agree with you on that. You know, um, I'm a writer. So as a writer, I try to incorporate all my pieces as well, my poetry and like, you know, how the, like you said, how the world is today and that's as much as you could do, right? Right, right, absolutely. Anything you have to say, a coder? I said I said it yeah. right? You did, you did, yeah. <laughs> not Tony. Uh, <laughs> not Tony, exactly. No, I am I'm extremely excited to get this record out. Um, you know, uh, to add along to everything what Ryan said, um, not only is it our longest record, but I think this is the longest time in between EPs, in, in between records that we've had, at least since I've joined the band. I'm not really sure when the first um, couple of EPs were released in terms of months, but uh, yeah, no, I'm really excited. I think the content that's going to be within this record is going to be, um, it's going to be a little bit more than music because we have something integrated with it uh which is the world uh which is the simulation we call it a couple different things you know but all that stuff will become much more clear um very very soon and yeah i mean i think i think i'm very excited for the record i mean including the lyric like the i mean ryan can tell you about the lyrics but the lyrics are very powerful they're very much about what's going on in today's society what's going on um with the state of the world um, a lot of these songs were written in, during the pandemic in 2020, um, and, and actually a couple of them were a little bit older than that. So you're getting the mix of a couple different eras, a couple from 2018 to, I guess, till until what, to 2021 when we stopped writing it. And yeah, I'm excited for this thing to get out and for everybody to get excited and listen to the record. I think that the crush was a record where we wanted to explore potentially stronger songwriting and learn how to write differently. And then this record was like, we need to say something. We have something to say. We're angry. There are things that need to be talked about. And it would feel un- it would feel like we wouldn't be doing our job as artists if we didn't talk about those things. Uh, so I'm excited to see how that is perceived, for sure. Totally agree with you. That's how I feel. Like I feel like as artists, we need to use our platform sometimes too, 
talk about since you, like you said like you have an audience you have someone they're you're following so might as well use it for the good right so Absolutely. very excited very excited to hear and whoever's watching this i hope you guys listen to them you know because you have to that's how i feel you know but thank you so much like i said i want you to watch your your um episode hopefully it comes out right tonight you said it will uh, well, i'm hoping crossing fingers they'll show me tonight on american idol they are doing hollywood week so i am there i'm right there i'm, I'm posting a bunch of footage of all the behind the scenes stuff in case they don't show me but this was a very exciting day for me so i'm really excited to hopefully they show what i did there so well i hope they do too so um thank you again for both of you at least you know two-fourths of the band is fine i'm um, we're satisfied we just wanted you guys to um you know be here with us like you said like update the interview <laughs> so thank, thank you. you so much for both of you for joining uh no filters no fears podcast and Again, good luck for for everything to all the exciting things that are coming for you guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Thank you, you so much. We you appreciate you. Thank you. No, thank you. And